you know, heading into Survivor Series, uh, a lot of people were hyped and and having anticipation for Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey. With Becky Lynch on fire and this huge momentum to Ronda Rousey gain more and more momentum, it was looked like it was the perfect match going to happen. It was going to it was reported that it was planned to main event the show even and they were going to steal the show. I guarantee I believe that. And then on the Raw before Survivor Series, Becky Lynch leads an attack, attacking Ronda Rousey, and sure enough, Nia Jax punches Becky legitimately in the face, breaking her nose, giving her a concussion, and sidelining her for an unknown amount of time. This caused the match to get cancelled, and she had to find a replacement. Heading into SmackDown, they had to figure out what's going to happen to Becky Lynch's towel run. Is she going to be stripped of the towels due to injury? Is someone going to take her place? Are we going to have to do Nia Jax versus Ronda Rousey? Sure enough, they decided, okay, we're not going to take the towel from her. We don't know the severity yet. Once we get some more info about that, then we'll decide if we're going to strip her of the title. So they, so Becky Lynch chose Charlotte, and in the process turned face. Hooray! And speaking of the Nia Jax incident, I was like, okay, so let's see if I get this straight. Uh, Nia Jax gives Zelina Vega a concussion. Nearly broke Charlotte's neck a year ago. Uh, let's see. Alexa Bliss is probably one of the victims. Um, has basically been increasingly sloppy and reckless in the ring. And you're going to reward her for her recklessness. Like, they even went ahead and kept calling her the face breaker. And I'm just like, are, are they going to try and build to a match to this? Because that's just stupid. And, yeah, this really pissed everyone off. Like, they were saying that this is one of the reasons why they were even excited for Survivor Series. None of the other matches interest them. Like, yeah, AJ Styles and Brock Lesnar, right until Styles dropped the title to Daniel Bryan. I'll get to that match later. But, um, in a later video, I mean. And there was Nakamura versus Seth Rollins. And then there was the Cruiserweight match. But, yeah, when you have a show... And it's booked with the top girl, top woman, the man. And she's going to fight the baddest woman on the planet. It's like, this was a match everyone wanted to see. And everyone was thinking, well, what are they going to do now? They, they, everyone wants this match. What, what can they do next? So when they made the decision that Charlotte Flair was going to fight Ronda Rousey, that was a bit of a surprise. Like, everyone was expecting that to be held off because... It was reported that Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair were penciled in to be the main event of WrestleMania. And then after that, and after Tuesday's tape episode, it was reported afterwards that they're now considering Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch for the main event of WrestleMania. And, yeah, that sounds pretty awesome, right? And I have a fantasy booking idea, but I'll get to that at a later date. But, yeah, um... Yeah, uh, so yeah, there's no build-up for Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey. They probably did wish they could find a build-up for this. And plus, um, at that, this was clearly going to be Ronda Rousey's best performance up to this point, at least until Becky Lynch just get, gets in there and kicks her ass. Uh, yeah, I, I'm hoping Becky Lynch wins. In fact, I even I had an idea of tweeting um, that Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey has been so intense that we need to get a referee, a special referee. Someone who exhibits badassery and knows how to control situations such as this. Contact Stone Cold Steve Austin. I like, we could contact some badass woman, but yeah, we kind of ran out of them because we don't like pushing them. Um... Candice LeRae? Nah, she's too NXT. Uh, we could have gotten that one girl, we that one woman, but she passed away suddenly, and because we kind of have a vindictiveness not to even bring her up to the Hall of Fame because of things, we're not going to do that. Okay. But yeah, I always wanted to see Stone Cold be... I wanted to see Stone Cold be the referee for Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch. Because imagine if Stone is imagine after Becky Lynch defeats Ronda, she has a celebratory moment with Stone Cold and does a beer bash celebration with her with, with him. And no, I'm not saying Stone Cold should stun her or anything. They can't do that in the PG era. So yeah. 
It would have been an awesome moment, a passing of the torch for who's the most badass character we can get. But back to Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey. This match was... A lot of people knew coming in, like, they knew they were going to see a good match, a great match even, but no one was wanting that match. They wanted Becky Lynch, so fans were already chanting for Becky, Becky, Becky. Like, they wanted Becky Lynch, and they got Charlotte Flair. And, yeah, this match was getting very, very good. It was so insane, so technical. And Charlotte Flair outpacing Ronda because of her more experience in the ring, as to the fact she comes from a family dynasty, from a family dynasty even. And Ronda Rousey is just having her first year in WWE. So, yeah. Um, yeah, they were doing so well. And then um, Ronda Rousey's, like... Bleeding from an elbow to the mouth. In fact, I thought she had bled when her face hit the turnbuckle. But it turns out it was an elbow to the mouth. And no one's complaining about her doing it. Charlotte breaking anything. Probably because Rhonda's not injured. She's just bleeding a little bit, but she's not injured injured. And then, sure enough, eventually it starts to get... Ronda Rousey starts to take momentum. She starts to get back momentum. And like when Charlotte hits the natural selection, Ronda Rousey shrugs it off. And goes for her signature arm bar. And yeah, it just then it gets to a point where where um where uh, tries to get the figure four leg lock in, but Ronda Rousey rolls out of the ring and they both hit the floor, breaking the hold. And Ron Rousey uses the barrier and brings Flair back in, and Rousey proceeds to um manhandle Flair or Charlotte yelling out for a mixed reaction Rousey with strikes into the corner and Flair fires back and those chops but eventually one chop levels one and she's unable to make her go down and then fans were chanting this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome and this match was going back and forth and back and forth. And then, then it gets to a uh, very dark point. Uh, so, yeah, Ronda Rousey starts to take more momentum. And then it gets to a point where Charlotte becomes increasingly desperate. And this desperation look so comes on her face. And then when Ronda Rousey tries to charge outside the ring, when Floor, where Charlotte gets out there, uh, we see that unexpectedly Charlotte disqualifies herself when she strikes Ronda with a kendo stick, calling for the bell. And then you get this strange commentary from Michael Cole. He says, We're in the witness of a five star match. And I was like, Wait, you've never used rating system. You never used the number rating st star system. What the hell just happened? And, like, even Dave Meltzer reportedly said he was surprised by this. Said this, he like, or was it Brad? But, yeah, one of them from Wrestling is Over was surprised when they heard that thing and say, is Vince finally coming around after, like, 35 years? Yeah, so it takes 35 years for Vince to say, let's do the star rating system now. But, yeah, um... Yeah, anyways, um... This proceeds to begin a massive massacre for Ronda Rousey. Like, Ronda Rousey's getting beat down, destroyed by Charlotte, and fans were chanting, Yes! 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 And then start chanting, Thank you, Charlotte! Thank you, Charlotte! Thank you, Charlotte! Because uh, everyone was thinking, Oh my god, she's turning heel! Oh my god, everyone, she's turning heel! Finally! Thank you! And Charlotte just proceeds to wail on Ronda with kendo sticks, causing welts and bruises to form, um, striking over a steel chair, attacking referees left and right as they try to stop her. And then Charlotte just snarls more and then just walks away after beating down, after breaking her tri uh, Ronda's trachea throat. But let's be real, that that never really happens on when they script that. And they're usually better after 24 hours for some reason, even though that's a life-threatening injury, as I've read. But yeah, um, and then 
In order to continue the no-selling phenomenon, Vince has a plan for Ronda to get back up, walk up the ramp, and sure enough, um, fans were chanting, na 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 na, na 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 na, hey hey hey, goodbye. And sure enough, um, like everyone was like singing that for some reason, like Ronda was leaving, except that doesn't make any sense. And then some fan was calling out on Ronda, and Ronda just responded, Must I stress she got smashed in the throat, so yeah, she shouldn't even be speaking. But she tells a fan that you're not a man when some fan's being disrespectful to her. Okay, whatever, I, I get that. But uh, yeah, then Ronda Rousey just looks at the crowd, and part of her looks disappointed, but the other part looks angry. And it's hard to tell, like, is she disappointed at the match? the way the match went down, or is she pissed off at the fans and she's kind of shooting from the hip here? But yeah, when this happened, I had two thoughts going in my head. And this is my cynical side coming in. It was... I had concluded through my cynical approach on everything that the reason why Charlotte did what she did was because Vince wants to put what Becky Lynch is and insert it into Charlotte. To take the momentum out of Becky, which many people say is a conspiracy angle they're going they're gonna do probably, where it's basically implying there's a conspiracy of sorts in WWE where someone from the higher up tried to have Becky's momentum be cr be destroyed by having Nia Jax injure her intentionally. In fact, a lot of the super a lot of the former superstars, I think Chris Jericho or Edge, but we're looking at that. That footage where Nia Jax punches Becky Lynch and turns around. It's not like an elbow to the back and she didn't see. That'd be one thing. But when people were looking at that, a lot of people started thinking, Okay, that looked deliberate. That looked like it was intended to happen. So, yeah, that's why some people started thinking there might be something going on. Like, someone backstage might have intentionally ordered Nia to injure Becky. Because they didn't want Becky to be cheer. They want her to be hated. And that wasn't working. So they realized, okay, we gotta cool her momentum. We gotta get her out of the way. We gotta bury her on television. We gotta do something about it. And sure enough, um, they got Charlotte. And then sure enough, Charlotte's suddenly doing all the badass attitude we wanted. But we wanted Charlotte to heal. But then on the Tuesday night after Survivor Series... She's acting like in between. One minute she's acting all heelish, how she thrived on beating the referees up and attacking the, attacking Ronda. Then all of a sudden she's wrestling two heels, and she's threatening them. And everyone's wondering, what isn't she supposed to be a heel? Why is she wrestling two heels and acting like a face? Yeah, that confused everyone, and that's just where my cynicalness came in. Like. Oh my god, they're really going there, aren't they? They're trying to stop Becky's momentum and try to think, Think of Charlotte, think of Charlotte, think of Charlotte! We want Becky! And sure enough, uh, Becky Lynch is even addressing this, hey, seems to be addressing this and say, like, Oh, I think I did. I got fined $100,000 and I beat up the Iconics. That was me, right? And she even said on Twitter, like, Oh, Charlotte's trying to steal my gimmick. And I was like, Uh... You do realize there's a problem when you address the four, when you really break the fourth wall. Like Becky Lynch is on a roll on Twitter. Like she called out Nia for injuring her. She called out Charlotte for trying to copy her attitude, and she even called out the company by saying like, "Oh, you wish Charlotte was champion, but let's be real, I'm the one everyone wanted, but you didn't want me. But here I am, and I'm happy about it." And I was thinking, like, okay, she had either A, she has control over her Twitter post con as part of a deal, or B, she's legitimately shooting right now. But yeah, a lot of people are now hearing reports that that their I that Vince is trying to try and switch the momentum around. They're trying to get Charlotte versus Ronda Rousey again. But rumors been going on that they might do it at the Royal Rumble, and Becky Lynch going ahead and fighting. Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania, but at the same time, there's another report that says they might try and do Charlotte versus Ronda Rousey nonetheless at WrestleMania, or they'll have to be forced to compromise and do a triple threat match. And I was just like, "There's no compromise here. Just give Becky Lynch the moment, the chance." 
Like, everyone wants Becky. Everyone's paying to see Becky. Her merchandise is selling. Why are you trying to force Charlotte here? And, yeah, that's why a lot of people started thinking that Nia might have been ordered by somebody backstage to take out Becky Lynch to froze her momentum. And a lot of people would be wondering, wait, let's... And I said, look, look, let's buy if that was true. Who would order such a thing? Well, actually, there is one person I can think of. Uh... It has to be someone who has a very big problem with Becky. Something about Becky pissing someone off backstage. <laughs> I can think of somebody. It's the man of Dunning, Kevin Dunn. Because it's been said that Kevin Dunn doesn't like Becky Lynch. Oh, not because Becky Lynch has an attitude backstage or is disrespectful or reckless in the ring. No, no, no. That would actually make sense. No, the reason why Kevin Dunn doesn't like Becky is because she's got a thick Irish accent. I am not kidding. In fact, back in 2016, he tried to lower her time on the promo skills because she spoke with an accent. Um... I'm not an expert on anything about this, but I'm pretty sure that can be considered racism. Because, what the fuck? This is the same reasoning why Vince won't push Asuka. Because she's Japanese! She speaks Japanese! We can't have a Japanese wrestler that doesn't speak the American language! Even though Asuka would have the biggest pop going on besides Becky when she, Becky was trying to figure out who, were, who would be her replacement to fight Ronda Rousey... And Becky Lynch was number one being cheered, and Asuka got the second biggest cheer. Because everyone wanted to see Asuka versus Ronda Rousey. In fact, that was also planned at one point for WrestleMania next next year. But they didn't want to go for it because, like I said, Vince won't push Asuka because Asuka doesn't speak the American English language. Or some bullshit like that. But, like, they originally were going to try and promote Asuka with the armbar and then do a who is the master of the armbar match, basically. And they scrapped that and told Asuka, you're not allowed to do the armbar ever again. But Ronda, we'll let you do the armbar. Oh, we'll let Becky do the armbar. But Asuka, no, 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 no. We can't let you do the armbar. That would be horrible for us. I'm like, it's not like having multiple top stars is a good thing for business. They can make us more money. Which is why we re we buried SmackDown on Survivor Series, even though we have a billion dollar deal with Fox coming in. So, yeah, that's where my cynicalness comes in on that. So, Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair. They stole, they had a great match. It was awesome. It was so close to being a classic. Then they did the DQ finish, but they did the beatdown so well that I enjoyed it. So I say this was what, like, what... And it was among my top three favorite matches of Survivor Series. My only three favorite matches of Survivor Series. The other one is Buddy Murphy and Cedric Al and uh, Mustafa Ali. And the last one is Daniel Bryan and Brock Lesnar. I'll get to that after I talk about our classic Cruiserweight matchup. So those were my thoughts on Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair at Survivor Series 2018. This was Neo Reality Entertainment. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and donate.